So for G perms, I always hold them so that the headlights are on the left. So if the bar is at the front, it's the GA perm. If the bar is on the side, uh, away from you, it's the GB perm. If the bar is at the back, facing away from you, it's the GC perm. Finally, if the bar is on the side, closer to you, it's the GD perm. So this is a GC perm. As we can see, the bar is at the back, but from this angle at the front here, you might think it's an R perm. And the way to tell that this is a G perm, not an R perm, is that this checkerboard pattern here goes for four stickers. So the red, green, red, green goes only for four stickers. If it's for four stickers, it's a G perm. Now this looks similar to the previous one, but if we look at the checkerboard pattern here, it's green and orange, it goes for five stickers. So this isn't a G perm, it's actually the R perm. So that's a way to recognize it from this angle, what PLO you have. Uh, the other G perm that could cause some confusion during recognition is the GB perm. Uh, from this angle it could look like a G perm, it could also look like an A perm, but this is indeed the GB perm. And the way to tell without looking at the back is to look at uh, the colour within the headlights. So this is opposite colours, so if we see opposite colours it's the G perm, not the A perm. So in this case it's pretty similar to the previous one, however these are adjacent colours, so the colour within uh, in the middle of the headlights is adjacent to the colour of the headlights, which means that this is not a G perm, it's actually the A perm. So I only showed these recognition techniques from this angle particularly because this is the angle I do all my algorithms from. If you do your algorithms from different angles, then of course you can learn recognizing these cases from other angles as well. Speaking of algorithms, here are the algorithms for the G perm. This is the GA perm. This is the GB perm. This is the GC perm. Finally, the GD perm. The G perm algorithms can be pretty hard to remember, so here are some ways to help you remember these algorithms. So the first is to remember the finger tricks for it. So you don't have to remember the notation for it. Uh, remembering the finger tricks can make it a lot easier to remember these algorithms. And the second is have a look at how the pieces move as you do the algorithm. And so tracking the pieces during the algorithm can also help you remember the algorithm better. And the third one is just to uh, practice it a lot. So drill these algorithms, uh, they do pop up quite often. There's four G perms, so they do pop up quite often in solves. Uh, it's good to get familiar with them from the beginning. The AUF for the G perms is actually surprisingly easy, and that's just to look at the headlights. And yes, that does work for all four of the G perms. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's it for this video. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.